Hey y'all, today we are going to go over how to apply an electric fan patch to your HB Tuners file for the PCM of NC fan kit. The first thing you're going to want to do is read out the stock file from your vehicle and save it in a safe place. Make sure you know where it is. Always have a copy of it just in case. Today I'm going to be working with a Gen 3 truck operating system, but this video is going to be applicable to every fan kit that we sell. I'll just show you the show you how it works and then explain some of the logic later on. So step one is going to be to visit the link that is provided in our instructions, which is going to be pcmofnc.com backslash install backslash fan. And it'll take you to this link here, which is electric fan patches. When you click on this link here is going to take you to our Dropbox folder and you are just going to select the appropriate file. You can see that we have Colorado and H3, we have full size truck, we have Trailblazer SS, and then we have our GMPP fan patch. There is also some PDFs here that have additional help on installing the fan kit as well. So since I'm working with a truck, I'm gonna to go to full size truck. This one happens to be a 2002. So I'm going to click on this file, just download the one that's appropriate for your year. And you see it says it can't be previewed, obviously. So we're gonna go ahead and download it. Um, that's going to go where you tell it to save. Make sure you save it somewhere obvious where you know to access it. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the stock file for my vehicle. Um, we're going to be going to the system tab and then fans, and that's going to be where our fan patch is applied. Um, the next thing to do would be to go to compare, open compare file, and then you're going to find that file that you downloaded from us and open it. And the way this looks here, if you're not familiar with HP tuners, green means that it is different from the file you're comparing it to, and blue means it's the same. So the easiest, the best way to do these fan patches and the easiest way, do not do it cell by cell. You're likely to mess something up. Go to compare, view comparison log. You're going to see a bunch of changes here because obviously our file is going to be different. It's just, it's a stock file, but there's so many changes between operating systems. Don't worry about that. Navigate down to where it says system and then fans, and you can see all the fan changes. We're going to right click on fans and copy over selected differences. Do not do copy over all differences that will change everything, which is not good. So after we do that, once we go back to our fans page, we can see that all these buttons are now red, which means they are the same as the compare file. The, there is one more step on a Gen 3 truck. This does not apply to any other operating systems. You need to go to the AC tab and change recirculation fitted to fan number two. And now this fan patch is complete. You can see it still says no fans. Sometimes you just have to toggle back and forth and you can see that change. It's just a little bug in the operating system. Um, from here, you would just go to file, save as, and then save this as something new. So fan patch, whatever you want to call it, save it as a new name. And then from there, you're just going to go ahead and flash it back in. The, the fan patch only needs the right calibration, so no worries there. If you want to modify this fan patch, you can. I would suggest just running things straight up as we have them, but um, you can see this logic here is pretty simple. Fan on, uh, fan one is going to be your low fans. Fan two is going to be your high fans. You can see this is the temperature at which they're commanded on. Then they shut off. Same thing for the high fans. If you want to run your fans ignition off, that's where you change this is over here. Um, you would just set the enable temperature to say 215. Like I want the fans to run for 30 seconds if the vehicle is more than 215. Yeah, whatever. We don't usually do that here, but you certainly can. There is one other thing I just wanted to point out because I get a lot of questions on this. Um, this is a Trailblazer SS operating system. You can see that the logic is a little different. And I get a lot of emails that say, oh, why are you not bringing the fans on to 226? That's so hot, blah, blah, blah. Um, this is ignition off. I cannot stress that enough. Um, this is only what the fans are doing for ignition off. So if you want to set that up on your own, you can. Um, as I said before, we don't typically do that, but this is ignition off. The way that the logic works here is controlled for the engine coolant temperature anyway, is mainly by these two tables, which is going to be state versus desired percent and desired versus ECT. And the way that this works is it takes, you can see here it says zero to one, one to two. Those are the only ones that we're concerned with. Uh, zero to one is no fan to low fan, and one to two is low fan to high fan, and then conversely, high fan to low, low fan to off. 
And the way this works is you have a value here, and that's pretty much arbitrary from 0 to 100, whatever you want to make it. And when it sees this value here, when it sees 36, it will turn the lows on. When it sees my 56 value, it will turn the highs on. Um, and then the same, and when it gets below 48, it will go down to low. When it goes below 28, it will turn off. Um, just another thing to keep in mind, your fans are probably going to be running if your AC is on um, based on the pressure, and that's normal and good. You want that to be on. And you can change this if you want to. Uh, again, I would just run it the way we have it, but if you want to change it, that's fine. Say, for instance, you wanted your high fans to come on a little bit lower at like 203, you would just type in 56 here. And then just go ahead and interpolate between these two bounds. Um, that way the fan isn't going off, on, off, on. You just want to make sure you have a smooth transition there. And that is how that works. You would just go ahead and save it and apply it. Um, just another note, fun trivia, the Trailblazer SS operating systems, in fact, a lot of the new vehicles, you're not able to bring the fans on earlier than 192 without applying a custom operating system. So... Um, this would be the soonest that we would be able to bring this stuff on. So anyway, I hope that this video is helpful. And if you feel like you need help, just please email me your file. I'll be glad to do it. Send it right back to you. There's no charge for that whatsoever. Um, if you don't have HP tuners or, you know, whatever else, you can also mail the computer to us. And as long as you cover shipping, we'll go ahead and do the fan patch for free. If you have any questions, just email us. Thanks for checking out our video.